Good day mga friends! Welcome to Busman Channel. Updates! If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you! Philippine Air Force A-29 Super Tucano Armaments and Capabilities A-29 Super Tucano is a light turbo attack aircraft designed for counterinsurgency, close air support, and reconnaissance mission in low threat environments and provides pilot training. Designed to operate in high temperature and humidity condition on extremely rugged terrain. The aircraft is highly maneuverable, low thermal signature, and incorporates avionics and fourth generation weapon systems to provide precision guided munitions. The aircraft has five hard points for carrying weapons and is capable of carrying a maximum external load of 1,500 kilograms. The aircraft is armed with two wing-mounted 12.7 millimeter machine guns with a rate of fire of 1,100 rounds a minute and is capable of carrying general purpose bombs and guided air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Super Tucano Cockpit The aircraft is fitted with two central mission computers. The integrated weapon system includes software for weapon aiming, weapon management, mission planning, and mission rehearsal. The onboard recording is used for the post-mission analysis. The aircraft is equipped with an advanced laser inertial navigation and attack system, the global positioning system, GPS, and a traffic alerting and collision avoidance system, TACAS. The all-glass cockpit is fully night vision goggle compatible and equipped with a bionic system from Elbit Systems, advanced mission computer, navigation system, and two 6 inch by 8 inch colored liquid crystal multifunction displays. The head-up display with 24-degree field of view and the advanced weapon delivery system are integrated through a mil std one 55 pb data bus. The pilot is provided with a hands-on throttle and a state control mode. A-29B Super Tocano unique features. This light attack aircraft capability is one of its strongest sailing points as it is low-cost counterinsurgency aircraft able to operate from remote bases with unpaved runways and minimal ground support. Other features are chaff and flare for counter measures.
I think it's an awesome 21st century airplane. I was really impressed that a propeller could, the aircraft could feel like a jet. You know, the avionics, uh, the displays, the ability to uh, actually fly air to ground type uh, scenarios and uh, just the nav and everything else just was, uh, it, it reminded me a little bit like an F-16 almost. It was pretty nice. This airplane doesn't cost anything like an F-16, I'll guarantee you. Either from the initial cost or the fuel or just maintenance. This is an affordable aircraft that gives you F-16 type delivery performance from the weapon systems and it's an affordable aircraft and survivable and it gives you what you need. It handled beautifully. I didn't have to you know, worry about a lot of rudder or anything like that. It uh, stayed uh, uh, symmetric the whole way through. It powered up and came through the loop at 4 G's, no sweat. Didn't have any problem going over the top and uh, did quite a few curvilinear attacks and they all turned out great. It's not for a high threat environment, but, uh, but Afghanistan isn't. And uh, it's for close air support. It's uh, staying close to the target, a lot of endurance, a lot of different weapons, uh, good weapons displays. Uh, uh, I would take this out on a, a fairly rough runway in Afghanistan, maybe a short runway in a heartbeat. And I think if we'd had this airplane in the inventory beginning in Afghanistan, it probably would have led the way for all the things we were doing. If I'm the chief, I'd, I'd be looking at this to fill out part of my portfolio that I don't have filled out right now. Easy to fly, uh, easy to maneuver, I think it's perfect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like and share.